I have a homework club where we practically do these things. And I have a thing called the Purple Learning Club. Yes. The reason I set up the Purple Learning Project was to basically um, put a name to the method and the things that we've been doing for the last two and a half years. Okay? And put an identity to it. So the three things that I kind of got you to look at and to think about um, are personality. So we talked about, you know, the arrogance, always wanting to be right, so on, you know, the interest level, being really quick, and um, all the personality traits, okay? So we quite often try to actually get rid of this in the school system. I'm actually going, no, that's your personality, that's great, that's working. Okay? Um, the next one that you are all very aware of as, as parents is the potential. It's the potential of the students. And you're trying to give them the self-belief. It's all the things, that, all the dreams that you have inside that you want to do. Okay? And we all have that. The one that we all kind of looked for, sorry, it's in that yellow, is um, aptitudes. Okay? So the things that you're good at, okay? So, um, for instance, if you are a very visual person, you're probably quite artistic and quite creative. Um, if you're very kinesthetic, you're probably very good at sports. So those are your aptitudes, those things you sort of gravitate towards doing, which is why I've got you to do things the way that you've done them this evening. It's gravitating towards the way that things suit you. And so from the time you came into the room, the people who wanted to read read, the people who wrote wrote, the people who wanted to talk talked and presented, and so on. So you've all gravitated towards your aptitudes, okay? Um, there's, those are the three things that go in, right? So the three things that come out are the environment. So I very much set up this environment this evening so that you're all comfortable to work in it. And um, that's what we do at Homework Club, it's always a positive place. So part of what you're saying at home of the difficulties is actually the environment that you're setting it up in. Like, you know, what's the lighting like? Where do you choose to work? I don't really feel that people should work in their bedrooms. I think that your sleep space and living space should be separated from your workspace, because this is what we do as adults. You know, so we're trying to teach good habits.